So yeah, I'm in the microscope group, and this is, yeah, you got it right, like ancient stuff. Um, you wouldn't believe the things that you can find here. Anyways, uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, DNA damage. Uh, so I started about a bit of a commenting yesterday, and in order for me to continue um, explaining why is it so bad and what kind of role the, uh, the loss of heterochromatin plays in aging, I need to start with uh, explaining why DNA damage um, is um, so that important. So um, the most harmful type of DNA damage is a double strand break, and uh, DNA is a double helix, we all remember that. So if one um, strands uh, get damaged, then um, it's easier to repair because the, the whole thing kind of holds together still, right? Uh, and if there's just one nucleotide uh, gets altered, there's pretty efficient machinery that repairs that damage. However, when you get the double strand break, it means that the helix, it, it sort of cut and we have uh, just two pieces that can spread in, um, you know, a, around and never, really meet again. So that is a large, like a huge problem. Double strand breaks, they break down the continu continuity of DNA. So when uh, we uh, need to double the DNA um, and it, it, it cannot be doubled, it cannot be transcribed, uh, the genes cannot be active, so there's like a huge, huge problem with those double strand breaks. One of the reasons why they're so harmful um, is because they can lead to cancer. And, uh, well, here's why. Um, those um, pieces of the chromosome that they can rearrange elsewhere. And, uh, for example, if we have two uh, chromosomes that have double strand breaks, so basically we have now four pieces, right? Yeah, four, that would be. Um, they can. Um, uh, reconvene together, they can uh, bind together in a wrong order. That's called a chromosomal rearrangement, so that is really, really bad because it can lead to uh, defective proteins and uh, diseases that lead, um, uh, that those defective proteins lead to. So, uh, where do those double strand breaks come from? Well, X-ray irradiation is a, is a tool, is a powerful tool to damage DNA so that their um, double strand breaks. Um, well, it's really not that great for pilots or for people who spend a lot of time uh, up in the air because um, on high altitudes there is less protection from this kind of irradiation that comes from the sun. Um, so, anyways, um, that's environmental uh, factors. However, the most um, prominent uh, cause for double strand breaks, that's DNA replication actually, which is doubling the DNA. Um, there are mistakes that the machinery that doubles the DNA center makes uh, and DNA gets those double strand breaks. So, um, I told you about this really, um, enemy um, uh, of, of, uh, of us, of humans, uh, doubles, the number of double strand breaks, it actually accelerates, it goes up uh, exponentially uh, with aging, and um, this is one really nasty thing that you always uh, want to repair, and in fact, every time a cell divides, there, there can be up to 20 double strand breaks, and you only need one to either die, I mean, if you're a cell, or become cancerous. And for the whole organism, actually the uh, second option is much worse because you probably wouldn't suffer that much if one of the cells is dead. However, if it uh, becomes um, uh, well, uh, a cancer cell, it can then spread and um, just lead to the loss of the whole body. 